Here is Spence down this right hand side, one on one with Tommy Rowe. Is there an opening here for Middlesbrough? Now Housen threads it through. Alive here for Middlesbrough, danger for Bristol City, but cracking last gasp defending from Zach Vine and Bristol City let off the hook. Yeah, that is a let off, just allowed to, to wriggle into the box there. Patrick Roberts, cross comes in and then um, desperate defending. Going to have to see the corner through though. Similar situation to Saturday. Dealt with the danger first of all, then got punished by the, the second play, which was the corner. Glimmer of an effort from Akpom. Maybe we might see the first chance for Bristol City to unlock something here. Here's Patterson onto his left foot. Again, showing that ability to find space. Yeah, cheeky little nutmegs there, I think, on the edge of the box, inside right channel. There we go, straight through the legs, head up, left-footed shot, just drags it a little bit, but um, good play from Jamie Patterson. Well, Jed Spence is Middlesbrough's right wing-back. He's playing on the left wing at the moment. That's a difficult one for Dan Bentley, tips it over the crossbar. And Bristol City caught sleeping at the back. Yeah, almost just a cross whipped in right on that touchline from Akpom. Possibly a slight deflection from Alfie Mawson, but Dan Bentley alert as ever. Yeah, a little deflection and just gets a vital touch to tip it over the crossbar. I'm sure Bristol City fans will be happy to oblige. Here's Naki Wells. Does well to squeeze it through to Hunt, into the box towards Martin, who's grappled to the ground. An opportunity, though, for Bristol City. Yeah, that's better, though. Good ball in from Jack Hunt, an early cross. Giving Chris Martin an opportunity to go in there, right on the edge of the six-yard box. Just couldn't get that vital touch. Space now for Housen. Bristol City not tracking the run. Now Savile. Inside Bristol City's box, gets the cross in, Akpom with the effort, dribbles past Dan Bentley. And again, Bristol City very static at the back. Yeah, should have scored there, Akpom, no doubt about it. George Savile getting to the byline, left foot across, Akpom gets across his man at the near post. Any sort of solid connection, and that's Borough 1-0 up. Just fluffs his lines a little bit, doesn't he? And drags that one wide, what a let off. Rowe needs support, Patterson's... Arrived, here is Andy Vyman. Space for Backinson. Now Jamie Patterson cuts inside, pulls a trigger. Dyke Steele makes the block, but Bristol City with a corner. Yeah, better from City. Ball breaks to Jamie Patterson inside the area. Just cuts that one on his right foot. You think, go on, find the top corner. The shot's blocked though, but City win the first corner, I think, Toby. Of course, he could be training up at the uh, brand new training complex in Phelan, which is coming on leaps and bounds. It looks impressive. Yeah, it does. But uh, I mean, that's a big thing for them young lads, and, and they've suffered a little bit. The academy train at Phelan, the first team of probably 22 miles away up at Phelan, just to be in among the first team players, it really gives them a boost. In from the free kick, danger again for Bristol City. Middlesbrough finding themselves in threatening positions. This time, it will be a goal kick. And Stale Fry at the far post, again McNair whipping that ball in. He gets ahead of his marker, which is Zach Viner, I think, and it has to go down as another half chance for Borough. In fact, a very good chance. Middlesbrough can break through Roberts. Spence will turn on the afterburners. Mawson does exceptionally well, look at that for a challenge. But he does brilliant there, just look to see if he's pulled up a little bit though, because... Spence has been impressive for Middlesbrough this evening and he tried to push the ball past him and get the other side of Alfie Mawson but Alfie Mawson done ever so well to stick with him. He has pulled up there Mawson, Hunt forced to put the ball out of play, it's just hope, and like you say it's always you'd rather see an impact collision rather than somebody pull up in that way. Well Alfie Mawson he was tipped to potentially Join up with Gareth Southgate's squad ahead of the 2018 World Cup. Just shows how well thought of he is in the England ranks. And at this level, and this is a really upsetting 
sight for Bristol City fans that have loved watching him so far. He's one of the crop of signings that have settled in and he looks fed up there, understandably so. Let's just hope it's not a reoccurrence of an old injury and hopefully maybe after a couple of weeks he might be back. Yeah, we don't really want to guess, do we? Um, you know, but he is in some discomfort. Clearly, he can't move to to get himself off the pitch and is having to be helped off there on the stretcher. But um, let's wait and see. So the ball brought the Morsi then, whose who strike was well high and wide. And that's poor defending from Taylor Moore, yeah. opening for Middlesbrough. An awful error from Taylor Moore gives Middlesbrough the leader, Ashton Gate, and it's Saville that calmly slots past Dan Bentley. And Taylor Moore knows it. Yeah, it's unfortunate, isn't it? I mean, that's a goal you shouldn't really concede. Look at that. You wouldn't have seen that when I played. That's a pass to a player inside his own penalty area. Now, he's last man, which is fair enough. The modern player will take the ball in that situation, but... When you're last man, it's you know it's the unwritten rule. You do not start dribbling when you're last man. And unfortunately, Taylor Moore has paid the penalty there. But nice to see Dan Bentley. You know he looked distraught. Taylor Moore, Dan Bentley, get on with it. Young player, he's made a mistake. He's got to react now. There, one big moment for Bristol City in this game. It will be a huge point. Flicked down by Jeju into Backinson. He's shoved in the back. No penalty, says the referee. That's a pen. That's Andy a pen. Vyman is incensed. Well said a moment ago. Hit Fami. There you go. Straight to Fami. Now Anton is on the wrong side of the defender and it's a slightest nudge. But in all fairness, if he hadn't nudged him, he gets on the end of that, I think. Going a little bit more direct now. Putting for it under a little bit more pressure. Jeju gets up and Semenyo inches away from finding the connection. Bettinelli puffs out his cheeks. Bristol City inches away again. I mean, it's working, isn't it? They're going direct now. Here's Backinson. Again, so hard for Bristol City to break this defensive wall down in towards Tommy Rowe. Where's the second ball? Jeju almost gets in there ahead of Bettinelli, but he clutches onto the ball. And now, of course, he'll use another delay tactic. Yeah, well... That was the chance, or half a chance. Everybody just stretching all out, really. Tommy Rowe actually does well to get on the end of that cross from Jack Hunt. Stretching out, just manages to get that one almost across the face of the goal. For Mara Jeju, trying everything, stretching every sinew to get any kind of touch. The goalkeeper, Bettinelli, comes out, takes a foul, and then... Um, We'll just slow proceedings down for as long as possible.